Hi, I'm Dr. Delise Brandman, and I'm here with two of my daughters to talk to you about taking control over your female health. What I've learned by being a woman, a doctor, and a mother is that each of us has a special role in understanding how our hormones impact our lives, and then partnering with our doctors to manage those impacts. Our doctors bring important insights, but only we as individuals can really understand the monthly patterns, our personal choices with things like childbearing, and the impacts that uh, will occur from our changing hormone patterns that concern us, such as the changes in our skin, our chances of developing heart disease or breast cancer, our chances of getting osteoporosis, and the way these swings impact our moods, our work, and our family responsibilities, just to name a few. Did you know that you can measure your hormone levels? None of my OBGYNs ever mentioned that to me, and I never really thought about it. Recently, I became acquainted with my med lab and the services it provides directly to patients like you. Because I believe that self-knowledge is basic and important in good health care, I encourage them to put together a basic panel that women could order directly so they can get the answers they need. Since hormone levels vary widely across individuals, choosing a basic panel and getting your own levels for the basic hormones like estradiol, progesterone, testosterone, cortisol, and thyroid stimulating hormone will establish that baseline that you can monitor over time and use it when you need it to understand and address your symptoms and concerns. Let me tell you a story. I was talking with a friend. Her periods have started to become irregular. She was talking about how she's also noticed that she becomes very irritable and grouchy at some times as well, to the point that her boss made some comment one day about how grouchy she was. She said, now I'm really worried about how often he thinks that and doesn't say anything. Should she measure her levels and get better informed about her body? It would certainly help her understand and manage her choices. With a few measurements, she could understand when her moods become unpredictable and why and what tools and techniques can help her manage through and get that next promotion she's been working so hard for. Her body is telling her a story that she doesn't completely understand. Her self-observations are really important, but she's missing the numbers. Getting the numbers, though, is only the first step. You also want to need to understand what they mean. My med lab test panels also include an opportunity to discuss these results and begin to educate yourself by talking with expert physicians like me. That might be all you need, or it might lead from that first discussion to a further discussion with your own OBGYN or your family practice doctor. I know that having a real dialogue with my patients is getting harder. Appointment times are getting shorter, and insurance company demands and rules are intrusive to a doctor's practice and how you spend your time. The opportunity to educate yourself as a patient, get your own test results, and be really prepared for that personal visit with your physician and make, have time to take those personal next steps can really reduce your overall costs and help you get answers and decisions that are more personal and more timely. I know that when the time is right, my daughters will bank their numbers, get their own medical histories, and understand the options for them rather than miss the opportunity like I did. Whatever your age, it's time to take control, make the decision that's right for you, and invest in yourself. I won't say good luck, but rather good thinking and good planning.